don't know nothing about me. I don't. But so far, I don't like any of them. I don't like you either. I'll try to have a seat if you let go of me. You don't, you don't know me. Corrupt cops usually get away with their crimes. But sometimes, when luck is not on their side, they get caught in the act. These cases show these exact moments, especially in our first case, where an officer's ego led to an illegal arrest of young boys, displaying shocking abuse of power. On June 12, 2023, Franklin police were called to a gas station after two teens caused a disturbance. With the attendant being friends with Officer Phillips, Officer Brown swooped in and, without proper investigation, unlawfully arrested the boys only to later find out that they were of the right age. This shady move raises serious concerns about the cop's conduct. What's going on, dude? What's up? What are you guys doing? You want to, you want to hang out here for a second? Why? Because I want to talk to you for a second. Like where the crime? Well, I don't know. Where are you coming from? I don't ask questions. Huh? I don't answer questions. Okay, come here. Am I being detained? How old are you? I don't ask questions. Okay, come here. Am I being detained? Yes, you are. What crime have I committed? Sit down. What crime have I committed? You as well. Have a seat. What, what's going on here? What's going on? Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. What's going on? Have a seat. What crime have I committed? Okay, so we're investigating a, a possible crime at Twice Daily's. Okay. Where are you guys coming from? What's the possible crime? Okay. There's friend. Can you take your hands out of your pockets for me? How do you? I don't ask questions. How do you? I don't ask questions. Oh, sounds good. You wake my sergeant show up. Somewhere to go. Stop. I'm always in a hurry. Damn. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Is it four? Four. I'm gonna ask you to count. Three. I'm glad oh, you did. That's a crime, man. I'm glad you did. That's a crime, Nick, over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, old one. I got the 4.62. Wait, why, why are you handcuffed? I don't know. I didn't commit no crime. Why are you being detained? That's a great question. What's the issue here? Well, you tell me why we got a call for you guys. We were just what? walking. We didn't do nothing. For okay. what? This is a public sidewalk. I can't no problem. We're on public okay. property and we're walking. For service. Yeah, but I, I call this doesn't mean nothing. What have you investigated? Okay. You're not going to tell me how to do my job and my law. Well, you're not doing it right because I ain't committed no crime. How old are you? How old are you? I don't ask questions. Okay, good for you. Well, when you're an adult, you talk to me about adult things, but right now. I don't ask questions. Okay. It's not a question, it's a statement. <laughs> you watch way too much TikTok and YouTube, don't you? What you talking about? I always want to know my rights, I guess. I'm not questioning, I'm just explaining things, but you're going to be a wise guy. Don't really care. I guess knowing your rights is being wise. You ask the question, I try to answer, but you can be a smart guy, a little. They got arrested for refusing to answer questions, a classic case of retaliation and bullying tactics. All the young boys did was assert their Fifth Amendment right to remain silent under the United States Constitution. Where's your car? I'll ask questions. You don't ask questions? How old are you? I'll ask questions. Look like you're doing me, right? What crime have I committed? Oh, you're already in handcuffs. Perfect. How old are you? I'll ask questions. All right. There you go. Under arrest. <laughs> well, what? Suspicion of curfews. So we prove where you are. Suspicion of curfew? Yeah, that's not even me. Suspicion of curfew? Yeah, you look like you're underage. So if I told you if I was 21, then it'd be okay. Yeah. Then I asked for your ID. Well, what crime have we committed? I just answered it's that. It's not a stop in ID state. Yeah, Tennessee's not a stop in ID. You can't just right. go to someone and say, oh, you just look a certain way, okay, so we can arrest you. You have anything sharp on I you? I do not consent to search his horses. I do not understand that. All right, well, you violated my last or not. Okay, I understand. You don't have an ID on you? Uh, okay, good for you. You can answer my juvenile if you're under under age of 18. We're under arrest for doing suspicion that no, we're under arrest. There you go. Under arrest. <laughs> we're under arrest for being suspicion that never said under arrest. Oh, oh. what does that look oh. like to you? Why you tell me, I'm not, am I free to go? You tell me, street lawyer. Are we being detained? Yes, we're being detained. <laughs> we have committed no crimes. America no more. It's a pure, tyrannical state. You must obey the government. 
You are not free to walk the streets, sir. What are we doing here, officers? What are we doing here? <laughs> we'll let you know. We're the ones that are in charge right now. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. They're just going to waste time. Waste your time. Waste my time. I ain't breaking no law. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat, man. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat, man. Let's go have a seat next to your friend right here. Oh, <laughs> there you go. They're getting physical. They're getting physical. <laughs> I'm helping oh, you down. Sorry, man. I got bad legs. Okay, I'm helping you down, so. Oh, oh my God. First, they arrested boys for no valid reason, and then they abused and mocked them. Now will parents have to protect their kids from the police too? You do realize that while you two guys are screwing around wasting our goddamn time. I'm not doing nothing. You came up to us. We was okay. minding our own business. I just, got, no I just got off a long shift and I'm trying to go for a walk. Okay, so go home and stop bothering people because not bothering you're wasting no our time. Why do you walk. think we're back here? Well, you're not, because your car is illegally parked on somebody's private property that's that closed because you were just hit in your car. You understand how easy this would have been had you just answered my questions in the first place? That's the thing, though. I live in America. I don't, I don't have to bow down to everything y'all say. I don't got to do whatever you say. I'm you a free, I'm a free citizen. I'm a citizen. I am break no laws. I'm a free citizen. Where are they? I'll go see if they want them trespass from the store. I'll be right back. Are we free to go? Nope. That's why handcuffs are on you. They violate no rights. I feel as though my rights are being infringed upon. I don't mean to be rude, but like, do you guys have like medical, psychological problems? And like yeah, that? I actually have a hiatal or hernia. It's severe. Reason. No, like anything that would like actually make you guys act so strange and and I don't know. Uh, you know, I just work a lot, so I like to take <laughs> okay. walk, uh, walks at night. Okay. And get outside, you know, since it's a free country, and I figure I can walk on public roads. I didn't know that'd be an issue. It is when you commit crimes prior to this, but... What, what crime, what crime, crime though? Like, what, harassment. Harassing who? Uh, a gas station employee. When? Okay. What okay. evidence do you have? Okay. Exactly. Well, That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, they're going to talk to the clerk right now. Right? I don't ask the questions. Okay. Well, maybe you should act like you're 20 instead of 12. Hey, bro, I don't know if, like, you don't have, like, the proper authority at home, so, like... You like pent it up the side, and then you put on a you uniform and then you walk around. No, you that's don't know nothing about me. I don't. But so far, I don't like any of it. I don't like you either. That's I, cool. I was about where you. You came up on me. I was. Well, walking. we got a call for service. Okay, a call on your me description. Nothing. Yes, it does. It gives us probable cause to detain you. I don't. That's and true. maybe you need to do a little what research before you spout your mouth. You have a witness, no crime. I ain't commit no crime. Anyone calling to say anything, that don't mean nothing. The real crime is that you're wearing mismatched socks, and the fact that you two have been <laughs> rambling here for the last. Now the real minutes. crime is that you came over here to detain me when okay. I did nothing wrong. No, I'll give you the real crime. Me. The real crime is you're wasting everybody's time. You wasted my time. My time. More valuable than your time. It's not because you want the, the public, clock and you violate my rights. The public pays for us to service them, and when you two yeah, are tax, tax money, no one who you tax money. Who you are you servicing? A lot of tax money working at Costco. Who are you servicing? You service. It's still tax money. Who are you servicing? America, thanks you for your service at Costco. Okay. America doesn't thank you for your service. You're a disgrace. I don't work at Costco. Well, one of you does. Your little name tag right there. Little name tag. They got a little man. <laughs> well, it is little, so. Hey, bro, that's, that's why that might be what she says to you. But I know what you she know, said to you me. You know people at Costco, yeah. big like... <laughs> what's his name? What's who, your boyfriend? What's his name? Well, what's 60 to 100K a year at Costco? Sad. Sad. You know they make like 60 to 100K a year at Costco if you're there for a while. Well, money's not the point. The point is that we're here. Let's like, hear that. Well, you're they're, talking about their taxpayer money. They're right? servicing the public. Fire department's going to a call right now. Yeah, right? and you know, we're I know what hates the fire department. The fire department is helping to make people. adult decisions. To walk up the side of the walk into the sidewalk is not okay. illegal. Is that not an adult decision to make? As adults, we don't have the decision to make the walk on the sidewalk. Deputy Brown was schooling the young boys on how to act their age, all while roasting them for having different colored socks and a small name tag. How ironic. Um, do you want them trespassed from here? Okay. If they're, if they're harassing y'all, they're up here, they're street lawyers and don't understand why we're getting out with them and why they have to ID themselves. and. They just parked at the business back here that's closed and yeah i was in the bathroom tyler told me they've been here for about an hour so i went over there and i told them they need to get their gas this isn't a hangout spot and they need to leave and they started calling up seat names fair enough 
figured when I was up here heating up my food, they spend about five, 10 minutes on the candy aisle. So I figured they're either trying to buy beer or trying to buy smokes and weren't old enough. Oh, they weren't getting they, it. They, they look like they're about 16. They weren't getting it anyway. All righty. We'll cut you out of here because we now know that you're not out after curfew, but you are banned from the dailies. Uh, yeah. Silver harassing the clerk. That's the reason we got out with you as well. Because uh, he asked you to leave and you gave him a bunch of lip and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, any other questions? No, sir. How about you? Name and badge number? Phillips, 925. Name and badge number? All right, you have a good night. All right, you dismissed. Wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking frag. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> 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 they look oh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Dismiss, Philip. Dismiss. It's day. Hope you get a job. Even after being proven wrong, those deputies kept throwing unnecessary attitudes and showed no embarrassment over their illegal arrests. It was utterly ridiculous. These officers' outrageous misconduct and unlawful arrests demand accountability. When cops cross the line with false arrests, they face serious consequences. Possible charges include false imprisonment, civil rights violations, and misconduct. It's high time these cops face the music for their illegal antics and restore integrity to the force. Police often think their badges give them authority over everyone, just like this next cop who tried to misuse his power during a traffic stop. Um, I used to be a police officer, I'm just asking why everybody's been asked for the ID. On June 6, 2016, Orlando police found himself in a red light when an officer's traffic stop, involving shining a light directly into a car, took an unexpected turn. The driver turned out to be an ex-cop, and the body cam footage captures their conversation, revealing how the cop's approach shifted dramatically upon learning his counterpart's background. Hello guys, how you Hello. doing today? Good. How you doing? Good, good, good. Do you want more stopping today? No. The speed limit on Kaylee's 30 miles an hour. So, you stopped me? I was speeding? Yes, sir. When you were coming toward me? No, sir. I got behind you and pace clock you at 40 miles an hour. No, I was, I'm asking because when you were coming toward me, you had shined your light in my face. You were... Yeah, I visually estimated your speed. That's why I turned around and got behind you and confirmed my visual estimate with the, with the pace clock in my vehicle. Do you have your driver's license? Yeah, I do. Can you give me my, my bag right there? Are there any weapons or anything in the car? Is no, good to get your bags? No. I don't, I'm not saying it's against the law to have weapons, I just want to know about no, it. No, I don't have weapons. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Keep me a signal lost. Where are you guys going tonight? Any places going? We're dropping off some stuff at one of the local clubs. So oh, okay. Illinois? I'm sorry? Yeah. Does everyone still live in Illinois? I do. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you guys yeah, were local partner, or tourists or anything. Yeah, it's in my bag. Do you have any idea? I need to pass it. Yes. Go and get it for me, please. Thank you. That's not your wallet. Huh? Where is it? Is it on the floor? Yeah. It's black. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Shining a light directly into a car was extremely dangerous, and it looked like the cop deliberately did so. When he saw the dark-skinned man, he seemed to decide to turn around and make a stop. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? It's, it's in my bag in the trunk. Um, okay. I used to be a police, so I'm just asking why everybody's been asked for the ID. If you stop, I'm just asking why everybody's been we asked. just want to know who we're out with, that's all. Okay, because I am used to be a police officer, so I've never had to deal with everybody in the car getting their IDs ready. Yeah, we just like to know who we're out with. If it's just for speeding, that's what I'm trying to see what's going on. Like I said, we just like to know who we're out with. Okay, is there something going on in the area? Not that I'm aware of anything particular, no. Okay, okay. Because when you were coming toward me, I saw the light, it kind of blinded me. I thought something was wrong because I saw the light flash in my face. Well, I, like I said, I visually estimated your speed. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I looked to see who was driving. Mm -hmm. Because let's just say, you know, car runs from me or whatever, I want to be able to identify the driver. And I got behind you and pace clocked you. And okay. that's why I'm stopping you today. Okay. 
Where were you a police officer? St. Louis and the city of Atlanta. St. Louis, Missouri? Mm -hmm. And then again in Atlanta? Yeah, I moved, I transferred because I got, I got tired of being in St. Louis. And what do you mean you transferred? I transferred, they were paying more. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was making What's like... I was making like thirty-eight thousand, uh -huh. and Atlanta was paying like forty-five. Did they take like laterals, like yes. time for your yes. Okay. yes. What did you do about getting this certificate out of Georgia? Um, I after I got after I resigned, I didn't think about doing it anymore. No, I mean like how did you how did you carry over your certificate? Oh well, doing the ladder program, they just did their the accreditation from St. Louis Police Academy because you get the same credits as you do with them. So they have like an equivalency of training kind of thing. Yeah, I only did like eight weeks. Okay, okay. That's, then, that's what I was asking. Yeah. I didn't know if they like honored it or whatever. Yeah, that yeah. That yes, sir. The moment the officer heard the driver was an ex-cop, his tone of voice completely changed. Yet, he still couldn't accept that. So all he thought of was to ask a series of questions to verify his identity, while the driver was incredibly patient to answer all his pointless questions. I'm just curious. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. Just sit tight, guys. As long oh. as your licenses come back and balance and stuff. Okay. No tickets tonight. I don't really want to, like, enjoy writing tickets or anything. I like understand. That. I appreciate just it. Just one of those things. Okay. All right. Just sit tight for us. Thank you. You're welcome. That's the driver, right? Yeah. Nugget. What? Nugget. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Hey guys. Yep. You. Twenty two. Thank you. Here's yours. Thank you would pass this to the driver. We're just gonna let you off with a verbal warning. Okay. Right. Appreciate I everything you guys have done, being cooperative with us. Be okay. safe tonight, okay? I appreciate Take it. Take care. No Thank problem. you. Good night. I'm a visual person, but I still need a name for the street because I don't like riding around in comfortable areas and not knowing, looking like I don't know where I'm going. He announced no ticket tonight, pretending to do them a favor, but he only gave a warning since no violation occurred. Despite this, the cop's attitude remained hostile as he continued to vent his frustration over his failed stop. Such reckless behavior should not be overlooked and demands official scrutiny and accountability. Proper legal actions are essential to ensure that law enforcement maintains high safety standards and upholds public trust. Trying to be superior is one thing, but this next deputy took violence and inhumanity to a whole new extreme. I'll try to have a seat if you let go of me. You, not, you don't own me. Yeah. On February 26, 2022, Dickinson police responded to an accident where 65-year-old Michael Skurlock was struck by a pickup truck. The situation quickly escalated when Officer Kinsley pinned Skurlock to the ground during the investigation, resulting in a severe brain injury for Skurlock. Exactly what the f I mean. I Don't go anywhere yet. Hey, what the f is it have I done? I was. What? What happened? Yeah, he, uh, he hit me actually. Right EMS the is driver. not needed. I was looking that way to go, okay. and I was starting to ease out. And the next time I see a flash in front of me, he goes, I was worried about f on flat. Yeah. Now, yeah, I, I ain't worried about now. flat. Look at that. Here, we are two to the tire. And that son of a is leaking down. Boom, bang. Let's get this. All right, am I through? No. 
What have I got to do? You got to wait here. What for? Tell me. Till we finish our investigation. Investigation? There ain't matter of no fact, have a seat. Have a seat on the curb. Matter of fact, I was out there laying. Have a seat on the curb. You're, you're not listening to me. Have a seat That's on the curb. That's what you're supposed to do. Have a seat I, on the curb. I hit, she hit me. I mean, he hit me, and I wasn't. I thought he saw me. Skurlock was hit by a pickup truck, but instead of holding the driver accountable, the cop let them leave and decided to investigate the 65-year-old victim instead. What a despot! I'm gonna are look for my stuff, young man. All right, turn around. Come on, now wait a minute. Hey, relax. What are you doing? Hey, hey. You're gonna have a seat. Sit down. I'll try to have a seat if you let go of me. You not? You don't hold me. Leave now. Six to three. Go ahead, rolling, uh, rolling ambulance. Is he out? Huh? Is he out? You know his name? Michael Scrollock, I believe. Is he drunk? Huh? Is he drunk? I don't know. I tried to get him to sit down because it looked like he was going to walk away. He wouldn't do it, so then I told him, put your hands behind your back and start resisting. Let me get his information so I can get him out of here. You good holding him? You want some gloves or something? Uh, I mean, I already touched him. I got some gloves. Skurlock was hit by a truck, but still managed to move and talk. Then, he was knocked out by the cop for looking for his belongings and later accused of being drunk while bleeding from his face. Their actions were a blatant disregard for the laws they were meant to uphold. Come on. You got a car, don't you? A car for what? To get me home. No, I don't have a car to get you home with. Come on. Mr. Scarlock, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to a lawyer. You have the right to have a lawyer present in any interview with the place or down at any time. You have the right to terminate any interview at any time. <laughs> you don't have to make a statement, but I must warn you, any statement you make can will be used against you. You're charged with public intoxication. I'm going to set a bond of 581. Can you make bond, sir? I take that as a no. Yeah, I guess. What are you going to do? What are we doing? Oh, how am I here? You got arrested for public intoxication yesterday. I got beat on this day. Having signed that bill, that evidence, it has any information, we'll go from there. Man, I ain't got no way out of here. No, you're getting out. You're getting out. Sign right here for me. The judge and jail attendant were just as guilty as Officer Kinsley. They watched the poor man stumble and fall while in custody and did nothing to get him the help he desperately needed. Michael Skurlock's tragic case took a dark turn when he died in December 20, 22, after allegedly suffering a head injury caused by Officer Kinsley. Despite this, Kinsley was promoted to sergeant. Seven months later, Detective Jesse uncovered five cases against Kinsley, leading to a February 20, 24 grand jury indictment. Kinsley was charged with felony elderly abuse and official oppression for striking Skurlock, denying medical treatment and unlawfully detaining him. Although the charges are still pending, the case underscores serious concerns about police accountability. In this last case, an officer landed himself in hot water after brazenly breaking the law. Am I under arrest? You're being detained. Well, yeah. Why do I have to have cuffs on? On May 21st, 2022, Rio Ariba County Sheriff James Lujan's downfall began when authorities arrived with a search warrant for his house and iPhone, linked to his involvement in helping former Española City Councilor Philip Chacon evade the law. 
The operation quickly soured as Lu Jian resisted cooperation, turning the search into a dramatic showdown and unraveling his criminal activities. Where is sir? Executing a search warrant. For? Uh, Sheriff Luhan. Search warrant for him or? For the building as well. What? I have no idea. It's Taos. But no, just stay here. No, I can't, I can't, I can't have you enter the, the scene. You guys are f***ed up, man. Let's, just, let's get him on the opposite side of this truck. Cody? Go on the I can't tell. Why is that? Dude, that that's messed up. Sure. That's what I'm Police officers cross every limit during arrests, and when it came to Sheriff James, he couldn't even handle handcuffs. It should have been a wake-up call for them to treat others with basic humanity. You got my iPhone, you want a search warrant for the building, you're searching the building. I don't know what you're searching for, though. I'm going to tell you. Okay. You're not letting me explain this. Let me explain. As soon as I find the page. 25, 21 units, make sure you guys stay running hot. So, on this, this is signed by a district court judge. Good. Okay. Judge Bowman. Yeah, first judicial. Okay. So this search warrant gives me the authorization to seize your phone, okay? okay? Search your phone, okay? But it also gives me the authorization. <coughs> so what, what I'm asking for you to do is unlock your phone, unlock it, give it back to me, and I'm gonna remove the security settings. I don't want your passcode. I'm not asking for your passcode. I'm asking you to unlock the phone. For the search warrant, you can read it if you want under number two. Lujian believed he was above the law using his position to help his friend evade the police. His attempt to act naive while still flaunting his power was outrageous. I will if I get a chance to talk to my attorney. It doesn't work like that. Marty, this is not a negotiation. This is not a, this is not huh? a negotiation, sir. I am in handcuffs. I'm not free to leave. I'm not free to leave. 
Am I free to leave? No. Yep. No. Then if I'm under arrest, I have a right to an attorney, correct? You do. Okay. And I'm not questioning you. I'm invoking I'm my right you, to an I'm attorney telling. right now. Okay. Do you understand that? So, thank you. Go ahead. Book me for what? For obstruction. Obstruction. Okay. I'm not obstructing. Take him over here to our unit. Take him over here to our unit. Over here, Sheriff. Over here. Sheriff. Just... They're going to book me. Really? Stop, 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 stop. stop. Just walk up. Just walk up. Telling you what the warrant stipulates. I understand that. I told, I told you what the warrant stipulates. You have every opportunity to cooperate. You want to cooperate? You're going to jail. Have a seat, sir. No, I haven't been served. Just take me so we can do it. I don't want to make sure you don't have any knives. I don't have any knives. I don't have any weapons. That's my wallet. I don't have any weapons. Okay? I really don't. You took my weapon. As a matter of fact, you left it on the back of my truck over there. If you could get somebody to secure it, please. secure everything for you. Can you move these to the front? No, sir. Against department policy. Well, it's tighter than hell. They hurt. Sheriff, those are very, very loose. Really? Step out. Let me see if I can fix them. They're very, very loose. If it hadn't been for his position as sheriff, these cops would have treated him badly and charged him with obstruction. Instead, they continued to try to convince him, which was sickening to watch. He shouldn't have been treated like a boss anymore. Adam 32, the unit uh, RE2 is requesting a uh, commander. trying to do everything peacefully. We tried to. Okay? That's all we're doing. We're, we're done here. We're leaving. Okay, well, get out of here then. You're done. Get out. We'll no. leave when we're ready. You okay? said you're done. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're wrapping it up right now. You we're know done. how it goes. You know how it goes. We're, we're doing our law enforcement duties. That's it. District court signed it. That's it. Okay. Okay, so as That's soon fine. as we're done, we're going to get out of your hair. Why are you calling everybody here to this put them in bar? House. Well, right now it's ours. Oh, yeah. Right yes. now it's ours. Oh, wow. We own the building right now. Shut up. Don't talk oh, to me like that. There. Shut up. Hey. I don't work for you. Hey, don't talk to me like that. Shut up. Easy, go easy. Get, get that and let's go. Are we done in there? Are we done in there? Okay. Are we clear? Everybody out? Hey, pull that time taper out. We're going. It's closed for now. Rio Ariba Sheriff James Lujan was sentenced to three years in prison for aiding a felon and witness intimidation. He helped an ex-counselor evade police after a high-speed chase. Jurors took five hours to convict him, and Lujan was jailed immediately after his request for release pending appeal was denied. What legal reforms could help prevent abuse of power by officials like Sheriff Lujan? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked the video, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. This is Detectives Mystery, signing off.